All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have a Houston Rocket video. They play the Oklahoma City Thunder in just, I think it's like a little less than three hours. The Rockets are on a 12-game losing streak right now. I think we're all aware of that. 1-13 in 13 total record. They've lost 12 straight. Granted, it's not the 20 straight that they lost last season, but oh my goodness. It's looking like it could possibly get there. Of the 12 losses, of these 12 straight losses, the Houston Rockets have lost by double digits only three times. So three out of the 12 games were close. It really sucks. The last two losses that the Houston Rockets have suffered have been by 30 points each. Not good, not good, not good. So really the the biggest reason I wanted to make this video also, if you're new here, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, post Rockets content on this channel every single day. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I don't know if that's possible, but we're aiming for it. The thing with Houston, what happened today is Steven Silas came out and he said, I think he was on some talk show or something, whatever it was, came out and said that there will be changes coming. He said there will be changes coming. So I don't know if it's going to happen tonight. I would imagine it will. I already tweeted out. If you guys aren't following my Twitter, follow the Twitter, Will underscore Upton. But um, <laughs> I tweeted out, like, watch Daniel House start tonight. Watch Daniel House start tonight. But I, I, don't think, I don't think that'll be the case. To be quite honest with you, I don't think that tonight Alfred Shangun will be starting either. I think that's kind of what Steven Silas was getting at when he said that there will be changes in the short future, I think he meant Daniel Tice will no longer be starting. The thing is, I don't know if Alfred Shengun's ready to start yet. I don't think he really is. I mean, especially the way Silas plays him. Silas plays him like 18 minutes a night. So who knows if Elp would actually, if he started, if he would actually play more than 20 minutes. I don't even know. So it gets me thinking about tonight's roster. I don't think that um, either Alp or Daniel Tice will be starting. I think he's going to go small. I think he'll go small with Eric Gordon. Um, and I don't want to talk too much about the starting lineups because when a lot of you watch this video, they'll, it'll probably be announced or we'll have a better idea or whatever. But I do think they'll go small ball with Eric Gordon tonight. Here's the bottom line. The Rockets suck right now. I mean, they suck, and I hate coming on here and talking negative, so I don't really want to dive into that, but they're trying to establish a culture right now. They're trying to establish an identity, and a win here is really important, man. Like, I know OKC isn't as bad as they're made out to be. They're they're coming off a nice win streak. They're 5-8 and eight on the season. Uh, the Houston Rockets' only victory this year was against the Oklahoma City Thunder, so they have that for them, and it was also a pretty commanding win. I don't remember the exact lead but it was something like 120 to 90 something along those lines so the rockets got a very commanding win uh the matchup predictor has them at a 38 percent chance and it, it's just tough man because like oklahoma city like they're 11th in the west during the second game of the season when the rockets beat them it was like everything was shifted OKC kind of seemed like they weren't going to win maybe more than 15 games this season. That's shifted, and the Rockets looked like, hey, they might actually be able to make a push for the play-in. Now you have the Oklahoma City just one seed away from making the play-in tournament. So this is what I keep trying to preach to Rocket fans is if they were to go on a similar winning streak to the Oklahoma City Thunder, or even if they just won three straight basketball games instead of four straight basketball games, not only is your record going to be better, they would be like 4-13, and 5-13, and 13, but all of this would be changed. Like not everybody, everybody would not be complaining about Steven Silas's rotations. Not everybody would be complaining about Eric Gordon still being on the roster because why is he still on the roster? People wouldn't be complaining about Daniel Tice versus Alfred Shengun. It would be, okay, yeah, these Rockets actually have some kind of talent here. Let's keep going, right? Let's see where this season can get us. Let's keep pushing. Let's try and keep on continue to develop these players. And let's hope one of them turns into an actual superstar guy, a franchise player that you can build your franchise around so that's really the hope right now with this season for me with the houston rockets is i'm in player analysis like i'm just scouting these players thinking to me jalen green i mean i hope i'm wrong the reason i'm saying this out loud is because i'm hoping i'm wrong but 
as of right now, he doesn't look like he's going to give me more than 16, 5, and 5 in his career, which is totally fine. That's a good stat line. That's a good NBA career. But is it a franchise player? Absolutely not. So is KPJ a franchise player? Right now, he's looking like max 15 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists if we're being generous for him in those two categories. So the good news is we're only 14 games in and this team is extremely dysfunctional right now. So all of these guys, like literally every single player on the Rockets except Alfred Shangoon and Christian Wood some nights is playing horrible. They're all playing horrible. So once they start winning basketball games and these they're not playing horrible, the stats will improve. The eye test is going to improve. They're not going to be averaging 20 turnovers for the entirety of the season. That's good news. So yeah, none of these guys are looking like superstars right now, but we're 13, 14 games into the season. I wasn't really anticipating any of them to look like superstars 15 games into the regular season. So that's it for tonight, guys. I want to keep it short because I'll probably have a recap video out for you guys tonight or tomorrow. So be sure to hit this like button, hit that sub button for Rockets content every single day. That's it for me, guys. Peace.